Morning. Well, it's been an interesting day so far. Apparently all the big airplanes from British Airways are being flown into our local airport, which is Bournemouth, for storage. So all morning, all we've heard is loads and loads of huge planes going across. Anyway, this thing here just simply would not come apart. I've soaked it, I've steamed it, but then I thought, right, we'll move into the big boys' toys, bring it into the dirty workshop, clamp it, and see what happens. And guess what? It's just starting to move. So I thought I'd film it for you. Let's hope it comes out, eh? Here we go. Whoa! At last! <laughs> At last! <laughs> Back in the ordinary workshop now. Now we know why it wouldn't come out. Look at that huge chunk of glue there. And somebody had put a wedge of wood down the side to make sure that it couldn't move. That's why it wouldn't come out. What a mess. And inside there, well, oh, wow. Never seen so much glue. Anyway, what it now means is I can repair this completely while it's off the chair and it'll make it a lot easier then to dry fit when this is all dry and make sure that these are all cleaned out properly so that the whole thing will go back together like a proper jigsaw fingers crossed so while i'm waiting for that to dry before i can do any more i thought i'd come back to show you this i finally finished this off first thing and as you can see it's pretty dried up okay now and i think it kind of matches okay all I've done to finish this off was um, checked, obviously it was dry first thing this morning and then I went over it very, very quickly with a layer of shellac French polish just to make sure that it is totally sealed in. And oh look, just in time the light comes out so you can see. I think that'll be fine. I think this is dry now. So I'm going to do, so I'm going to try and get this glue off while it's still a little bit softer. That's better. Yeah, that's cleaner because that would prevent it from going back into the joint as will this bit here. So I'll get behind that. There we go. So that's that's cleaned that up. Get a bit of sandpaper on it. Make sure that it's nice and smooth. All right, so I can go aside. Now this here, somebody has been in here with a little bit of glue you see just there. So I'll go around and clean this joint up just gently. And then it'll all be ready to glue back together. Hurrah! So to repair this bit of damage here, I'm going to use animal glue this time. And that's a baby bottle warmer and it's a really important bit of kit because in there is my animal glue in a syringe keeping nice and warm. So we're all set. I've got my clamp ready. And here's my glue. So I'm just going to work this glue down into all of these areas here and I don't care if it sploops out all over the place, I'd rather that than there not be enough in there. So I think that might do it. That'll do it nicely. This is where these one handed clamps are very useful when you're working on your own. Let's have a look. Yeah, I think that's. as we're likely to get it. 
Yeah, I'll just clean up that joint. I think I might inject a little bit more glue into this area here. Might even put a second clamp on just there. And that's it now, just gotta let it dry. That side's gone off now, well enough, so that I was able to take the clamp off. So now I'm gonna do this one. And again, more glue than I need, hopefully. Situate it just right. So it lines up. That hasn't lined up. Is now perfect. I just gotta wait for that one to go off now. Enough for today. Tomorrow's gonna be about finding out how to centralise a dowel into this so that I can put this back together as it should be, like that. Tomorrow's fun. Stay safe.